Good evening. Thank you very much for joining us for Denver 7 News at 5 tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. I'm Ann Trujillo. And tonight we begin with Denver police answering more questions about a shooting early Sunday morning downtown. Uh, today we learned six innocent bystanders were injured when three Denver police officers began shooting at a man armed with a gun. DPD provided these still photos of the encounter with the suspect, saying this reportedly shows 21 year old Jordan Waddy pointing the barrel of his gun at them. And Denver police say they will not release the full body video until the DA completes her investigation. Well, Denver 7 Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kowaleski was at today's DPD press conference asking, asking questions and joins us now. So, Tony, we also learned from police that officers did not announce they would start firing before they shot in the direction of this crowd. Yeah, Shannon, and still a lot of questions, but more answers today. DPD's leadership saying the 21-year-old suspect, a convicted felon out on parole, had every opportunity to prevent the situation from escalating, and the severity of the situation escalated quickly after he showed police he was carrying a handgun in a crowded downtown. They observed a physical altercation between two males. Commander Matt Clark painted a visual well, picture. He disregarded their commands to stop and to, to comply. His department's explanation of what happened on this street corner early Sunday morning. They saw the muzzle of the gun pointed directly at them. DPD provided this still image captured from body camera video showing the weapon. All three officers reportedly said once the suspect brandished that weapon, they feared for their lives and responded with a total of seven shots. Well, certainly they didn't go in with the intention of injuring other people there. You've said that they feared for their lives, but what kind of thought process have they shared? They have taken firearms off of people safely without any issue, um, and it was their expectation that they would contact this individual in a safe location and the same result would occur. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the case. Since the shooting, DPD has reviewed body camera video and sound cameras mounted on street lights in the area and interviewed responding officers and eyewitnesses. Did something go wrong? Yeah, six people additionally that shouldn't have been injured got injured that night. Could this have been handled better? I, I think the officers did everything they could uh, at the time. Denver 7 has also learned more about the suspect. 21 year old Jordan Waddy was in violation of the terms of his parole on that Saturday night. Originally arrested for first degree felony murder, he spent a little over four years in the Colorado Department of Corrections after pleading down to a lesser charge. As you stand there now, do you think that contributed to this escalating? Not having an opportunity to talk to Mr. Waddy, I'm not sure what his mindset was. I'm, I'm, uh, I would imagine though that uh, a prior felon with a firearm who's on parole is, is uh, concerning to him and he wanted to try and avoid going back to the Department of Corrections. Now, the State Department of Corrections telling us 21 year old Jordan Waddy was wearing an ankle monitor at the time of the shooting Sunday morning. He broke curfew and is now accused of being a felon in possession of a weapon. DOC says because he's violated terms of his supervision and it has started now a process for Waddy to return to prison and all right, Tony, thank you for that. And as Tony mentioned, Denver police, <clears throat> excuse me, would not specify if the victims from Sunday morning shooting were shot or hit with ricochets or other debris. And today we spoke with two of the victims who say there is no question they were shot. Yakalo Welda Hewitt and Bailey Alexander say they were both out having fun with friends. I did notice an altercation between two males um, right at the entrance of the bar. Um, it was just exchanging of words really at that point. Um, so we kind of just ignored it. I knew pretty quickly within a few seconds that I had been hit because I could feel the warmth of the blood going down my arm. Um, looked up at him as we were still moving, told him I had been shot. I heard a second gunshot and that's when I felt like uh, I got hit with the baseball, uh, like 100 miles an hour type of thing. And the bullet is still in there. Um, the bullet's still in there. Yeah, there's some fragments and the bullet's still in there. We want to feel safe. Uh, and we, we think that we're safe, but situations like this makes you think that, I mean, makes you feel like you'll never be safe again. Now tonight you will hear more from those victims and what they want from those officers. And you can watch that tonight on Denver 7 News at 6.